before we actually go into how to build a site the good thing is actually to set up the account and to do that we'll actually go ahead and we'll set up all the required information for the admin now whenever the admin posts any comments or makes any changes this is the information that will be shown on the web page there are a couple of ways to actually go about this and i've shown one of the ways in the previous tutorial and i'll just repeat that so the first way is once you have actually logged into the wordpress you have logged into into your site as the admin you can always go to the upper right corner and there you'll find edit my profile okay and the other option is if you actually go to the dashboard so for example we'll go site admin here and on the dashboard there should be a menu called users and you can actually see all the users add new users and your profile either way will actually bring you to the same page which is this one here okay here you can actually set up all the personal information about this particular user and we are talking about the admin so this is the person who is actually going to be changing and editing all the pages and like I've said anytime this user in this case myself anytime I post any new comments or make any changes my username will be displayed okay so let's go through all the options here first of all there is the visual editor and the first option is to actually disable the visual editor when writing you can do that but I would leave this unchecked as I would like to have all the visual editor options as it makes it a lot easier to actually go about customizing and editing all the pages okay then we come to the admin color and by the default it's this I like to call it a bit darker but you can always choose a lighter or a blue version coffee version and whatnot all right so let's go with the blue version just to see what happens and you can see that this is a live preview so you can actually see what's going on so if I was to click on this one it would give me exactly how it would look if I go for midnight it will give me like this ocean it will change to ocean colors and whatnot if I go to light it will give me the light colors all right the first color here is obviously the background then you have the fonts then you have the links and the last option here I think is the visited links so this is for all the colors and dependent of your personal preferences you can actually choose whichever color you like and I'll actually go with midnight the second option here will give you actually the third option here is the keyboard shortcuts and this is very good if you are actually uh, when you actually write in the programs and when you actually build in the site and if you like to use the shortcuts which make everything a lot easier and quicker you can enable this option here also there is a link to more information and if you to click on more information obviously you're gonna get more information about the uh, keyboard shortcuts and you can always read here and find all the shortcuts that are available within the WordPress and if you decide that you wish to use that you can go and you can actually click on this box here which I will do now the toolbar show the toolbar when viewing the site so what that actually means if I was to go back to my site this is the toolbar that we're talking about so if I enable this this will be shown if I disable it this will disappear once again I like to have this there because I know that I'm actually logged in and therefore I will leave this option as checked so it's going to be shown all the time now we come to the personal information so the first one is the name the username this is something that we cannot change this is something that we have actually uh, set when we were setting up the WordPress of then you can actually go and change the first name last name all right so I'll put the first name as John second one I'll put as John Smith now we come to the actual nickname and you can change this so when we set up by the default the nickname which is required becomes exactly the same as the username so my username was wordpress and therefore my nickname is wordpress as well now we'll change this and i'll put this as john oops john smith and when i come down to the second option uh, display name I can actually choose from John Smith John Smith or Smith John or the 
one I had set by the default, which was WordPress. Okay, so I can choose any of these combinations and I'll actually go for John Smith. Now, whenever I write something, whenever I post a comment, wherever I actually go and post a new topic or something, whenever I make any change, this will be the name that's going to be displayed. So to the outside world that's visiting my page, I'll be known as John Smith. Alright, the email, I can actually go ahead and change the email here. So this is the email that I have typed in when I was setting up WordPress. I can go ahead and I can just change that if I wish. The next option is the website. So here you will actually put the actual URL of the website. In my case, that's, uh, I think it's a WordPress for shoot.net. Uh, seven, sorry, WordPress shoot dot net seventy six dot net, and I'll just put HTTP triple W. Okay, so this is the actual website that um, I'm building, and then I can actually go and write something about myself. So by all biographical info, you can put any sort of uh, by all info that you would like here to be actually uh, shown and this actually can be shown as public so whatever you would like to write here so for example I would just put something like hello I am the admin of this site and the aim of this site is to make some video tutorials on WordPress 4 okay then I can actually go here and I can type in the new password if I wanted to and there is the strength indicator here so I can type in maybe just some letters for example uh, let's go something like this and I will get that this is very weak as soon as I put in some numbers and some capital letters and a few other characters this becomes medium strong and everything else if you're really worried about the security and the passwords I would strongly suggest that you actually go ahead and you get a something that's called a random password generator so what that will do you can actually choose between how many characters and I think the lowest number of characters that this generator will produce is six uh, sorry eight so you can go 8 16 and 32 I believe and if you want you can always use that and that will just generate random characters and you can use that as well but once again you might you have to make sure that if you do use that you actually have that written somewhere because you're not going to remember that password so it's a good thing to use if you're worried about the actual security of your site so if you're worried that somebody else might actually guess your password and log in as the admin and change your web page go ahead and use that and also this is good if you think that your site might sometimes become a victim to hackers and stuff like that if you use the random password generator this will actually take care of that as much as possible okay so this is basically all that we have to do it in order to set up the profile for basically any sort of a user and in this particular case we are talking about the admin so the person who is going to be editing who is going to be changing and building this website in this case that's myself okay once all that is done I'll just hit on update profile and straight ahead you will see that this message here has now changed to how did John Smith instead of like it was before how the WordPress alright so the other thing that we can actually see here is the help button here and this is really good when you're starting to work with WordPress and basically you can go and check and click on this help it's pretty much available on all pages and it will give you some information some help regarding that particular page you're working on so whether that'll be like in this case a profile editor for the admin or whatever you might be working on it will actually give you some help here and some information how to go about you know changing the links and whatnot all right so this was a very quick tutorial on how to go about setting up first and most important uh, the actual user profile sorry the admin profile and I would strongly suggest you do this before you actually go into building the web page 
So once again, you will log in as the admin. You will come to the what's called a profile page. So your profile and here you have all the options. As soon as you hit on the update profile, you will actually see that it will change. And from now on, you'll be known to the outside world as John Smith in my case. And once again, you can actually see that this is, account is actually called WordPress which I have created when I was setting up the WordPress at the beginning. Okay, so once we have set all the information for the admin, we can actually go ahead and have a look at the other options, which we will do in the videos following this one.